Now, out west, uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom says his plan is to have schools reopen as early as late July or early August, as long as there's no resurgence of COVID-19. But establishing a new normal for grades K through 12 presents its own set of unique challenges for administrators. Joining me now to steer us through these challenges is Salman Khan. You know him as the founder and CEO of the Khan Academy. Uh, the Khan Academy took learning online, but did it in a way that was different. And, and Sal, I have to think that you looked at this when it happened, uh, when everybody had to start learning from home and going through your mind was the idea that this is harder than it looks. Just having kids at home, working off their computers, supervised by their parents is not really what um, you think is, is the equivalent of, of robust online education. Yeah, to be clear, this is very suboptimal for families. And I have three young kids at home, and especially for a five and a half year old, it's not <laughs> been easy. So I have a lot of empathy for uh, what's going on. Parents. A homeschooling parent actually emailed me saying, this isn't even homeschooling, this is quarantine schooling, which is harder. There's all these other stresses. People are trying to work from home. There's not a lot of other external supports. And so what we're telling parents and teachers and students is, first and foremost, just take a breather, don't beat up on yourself. And even if you're able to do 20, 30 minutes a day of the core, math, reading, and writing, that's a start. And then if you get your legs under you there, then you can start layering on other things. What happens if uh, we come to the conclusion that we can't get schools up and running uh, by the fall? Uh, it, it, do we have to change the fundamental way we have to do things? Is there a way we can implement robust uh, at-home, online, remote learning for K through 12 on a mass basis in America? There are for sure ways to keep students learning. I think the unfortunate thing is it's very unequal right now. We know that large chunks of the country don't even have access to internet and broadband at home. And then even when they do, the level of supports they're getting online and distance learning is very different. But uh, what we're seeing is, that, you know, we're seeing our traffic about 3x. We're seeing 100 million learning minutes per day on our site, uh, three times what it typically is. And so there are already a lot of families who are continuing to learn. And we're putting out lesson plans and schedules for uh, parents and teachers and students so that they keep learning not just through the next two months, but through the entire summer. That researcher that you just showed right, right before I came on, uh, she's pointing out that not only are we going to have the summer slide where kids don't learn but also forget, you're going to have essentially double that this year. And if we don't keep learning on, on tools like Khan Academy, when you get to back to school next year, which has always been an issue, kids start with very big differences in preparedness, those differences are going to be that much larger. So even if we do get back to school this coming fall, which hopefully we will, uh, districts and parents and teachers are going to need tools to get all of their kids uh, ready to, to remediate those gaps. So one of the things we're kind of amazed at with everybody working from home is the degree to which the uh, the Internet has been robust enough for us to be able to work at home on an ongoing basis. However, there remains a digital divide in this country where there are children without laptops at home whose school systems have not been able to provide them. And if the, even if they are at home, do not have broadband Internet. Yeah, this is a huge issue. And I think, unfortunately, it's going to be a source of inequity, uh, at least in the near term. If there's a silver lining, I think it's that uh, government and districts and philanthropists, corporations are starting to realize that at-home access isn't a nice-to-have. It's really a must-have. It's a human right. Frankly, not just for accessing, say, Khan Academy, but for also accessing to, to, you know, being in touch with friends and family right now. So we've been working with school districts like Clark County, which is the fifth largest in the country. That's Las Vegas. Uh, they've been able to distribute a lot of laptops. Ray and Barbara Dalio, philanthropist in Connecticut, they've been able to get 60,000 laptops to uh, kids in high school. Uh, so we're trying to work with philanthropists, cable companies, whoever we can to get as much uh, device access and broadband as possible. Sal, thanks very much for everything you've done uh, and, and the way you've taught us to think about learning online. Salman Khan is the founder and CEO of the Khan Academy.